The optional lithium system is a 5 kilowatt hour EcoFlow battery. The system in the coach shows three tiles, including your system tile, your input tile, and your output tile. In your system tile, you can see your available time left based on your current usage, your state of charge, and then at the bottom, you can see your single 15 kilowatt hour battery and the temperature of that battery. In cold temperatures when charging, the battery will automatically heat itself up if it reaches temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If the unit is cold soaked below that 32 degrees, you must plug into shore power. If the unit gets below negative four, we suggest you warm up the inside of the coach or park it inside. When it reaches a temperature above negative four, simply plug into shore power. When storing your coach for long periods of time, we suggest storing it at 60% or greater state of charge. If your battery is critically low, simply charge the unit by plugging into shore power. In the input tile, you can see that you're charging from your alternator, your solar, and or your shore power. The power curve shows you a visual representation of your inputs. You can see your current input as well as your total energy generated from your inputs. In the output tile, you can see your AC and DC power, as well as another visual representation of power draw. With the optional 5 kilowatt lithium system, you can run your air conditioner. We suggest transitioning from low fan to high fan to low cool to high cool so that you don't shock the system and trip any breakers. Your AC power will be things like your air conditioner and your 110 volt outlets, and your DC power will be things like your lights and your 12 volt wall outlets. In settings, you can control things such as your Bluetooth reset when syncing to your phone, the units on screen, as well as the screen timeout. To power off the complete system, you're gonna press and hold that physical button for three seconds, and you'll see the screen turn black, and your lights and your outlets will lose power. To turn the system back on, you're going to press and hold this button again. To put the screen in sleep mode, you're going to press the physical button one short time and the screen will go black. To wake the screen back up, you can either tap it or press the physical switch one short time and your screen will light back up.